Hello, this is Redrick with Redrick Beats. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a trap beat from scratch. Let's get into it. Welcome to the first session of how to create trap beats from scratch. So first off, what you need to do is sound selections, drums, your kicks, and your everything. You know, go to Redrick Sound Fonts. I get down to my trap trap samples now that's my trap 80s lex legal samples i'm gonna get into there and see what i like i like this kick yeah i stop the kick let's get this snare and uh another snare yeah just to accompany uh, the other snare Let's get to Lex Ligger. Grab a. Yeah, I like this 808. So, secondly, I'm going to show you how to mingle your 808 just to sound cool and not sound too muddy. And Let's try this. What? symbol crash and the reverse including the crash now I like this niggas out here so um, there's a there's a there's a there's a high head I'm looking for so I'm gonna go for that yeah that's the high head yeah let's go so um, I've gotten all my samples into place so I've got my kick I've got my 808 uh, I've got a uh, I've got a snare, I've got another snare, I've got a turret snare, so I have like three snares down here. How this vocal sample work? I have a nice um, cymbal uh, open and closed. I have um, reverse crash, legs hit crash, and I have a nice um, hi hat for my hi hat rolls. So basically, this is what you really need for your trap beat, all right? Next off, what we need to do is to add some uh, VSTs. Best VSTs I've had most producers use uh, are from uh, ReFX, all right? So you want to grab Nexus. To grab Nexus, you want to go to um, Piano. Yeah, choose most of the pianos down here. So let's see this and see how it goes. <laughs> I think I like this one. So what I really need to do here is to come down here and turn down my mix level for my uh, ping pong, for my delay. Maybe I should even make it a ping pong delay. Then um, I'm, I'm going to go down to the, uh, the reverb uh, channel and I'm, I'm going to turn down the mix level. Turn down the volume a little bit. So uh, basically, what melody, the kind of melody that is in my head right now? I think my mind is telling me to play, to play. Sorry, Patrick, you have to play this. Fine by me. So what we need to do is to match our tempo and try to record what we just, what we just had. See, it's actually not in sync from my mind. I think the tempo should be. So we have 69 uh, beat per minute. So now that we have gotten our tempo sync with our melody, the melody in our mind. The next stuff we need to do is to try to record our melody and see how it goes with the tempo so let's get doing this is how this bit is gonna sound let's go all right about me i think that's okay so next up we have this now we need to go in right inside and try to mangle everything to fit so I think we need to quantize this right now. So we need to get. 
get back here. So there is one thing that's lagging out. I'm gonna take these guys out. make it a little bit happier so next up what I need to do is need to save this somewhere tutorials I'm going to save this how to make an alphabet from scratch sorry um, I like alphabet how to make a trap beat from scratch save that and I'm okay with that so what I need to do down here is to copy most of the all of the MIDI information, change my snap to grid to there and um, hold my shift button down on my PC and click drag this down to the next beat and we are done. So I'm gonna take the metronome out. So you feel it a bit already. So what we need to do down here is maybe get another session of Nexus. Clone this. I'm gonna clone that. So what I need to go get, I need to go get a brass. You know, I like this brass. This is dope, man. So I need to go in there, piano roll, and see what I'm gonna do. So ready? Let's go. So we are good with that. So we need to change our snap to grid and try to snap everything to a grid. Sorry, my PC is way a little bit loud. It's making some hell of noise. So let's get into this bit of information and try to quantize. So control Q automatically quantizes everything. So I'm going to rename this. How do I rename? I'm going to hold down my shield button and click right click on the BST so I'm gonna see brass nexus so I'm gonna say chords or piano piano chord nexus as good as better so for my uh, for my brass I'm gonna go into the to the mod session and I'm gonna put this down to legato I'm gonna lock it up, all right? So this is basically gonna sound like a portamento, portamento feel. So let's get, let's listen. So um, I think I should overlap most of all of these things. So under Z, under Z, Control A, I'm gonna shift a little bit. Let me, let me listen. Yeah. So we've got on what we wanted. So next up, what we need to do is get most of the kicks running. Let's go. So so I'll go. Oh. getting this thing going so this is for the first beat I'm gonna create another pattern for the second beat a little bit different from this one so 
I'm going to take this guy up here. So, I'm going to go from the beginning. So, I missed the snare. Uh, I'm sorry. So yeah, we've gotten the snares, I've gotten the kicks. So we have this. So I added um, a double flat down here with the snare. So what we need to do, we, uh, we do all the snares, uh, just to layer it a little bit backwards with the other snares. So I'm gonna take these two snares upwards. So I'm holding down my Alt key, my cursor up button. Well, for the most part, I'm gonna copy the first snap, uh, meeting information down to the second snare. Then I'm gonna take down the volume of the first snare. Well, I actually like this other snare most, more than the other one. So I'm gonna take this snare out. I'm so let me see what this other snare goes. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna tighten this snare a little bit. Take down this, take you out, take you out, take you out, and see. Fine by me. So the next stuff thing I'm gonna do, just to make this snare sound a little bit out, so you could hear it, is to take my shift. Not so much. So if I add this, it's going to be like So what, what I need to do right now is to include my vocal samples Like what I said, trap beats are actually the most simple beats to play, to make. So you know, play, make. You know what I'm saying? I'm so happy right now. Now what I need to do with the cymbal is just to add. Um, let me see this. Fill each four steps. Let me see. So I fill that four steps. What I need to do is go inside piano roll. And I'm gonna take this thing. Let me see. Let me take this thing. I'll make it like this. And I'm gonna tighten this thing a little bit. Cause it's we really just. Uh, okay, I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. I'm gonna stretch it out. You know, compress it. Yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna add is to add my crash. 
that's normal that's why you should include your crash for your um reverse crash should be here so let me just see how that's going to sound sweet so i think you're done with it feel each two steps let's go so this is going to make the beat laggy a little bit this is how it's going to sound that's not what i wanted so what i'm going to do is go inside here piano roll hold shift button down and i'm going to take this midi information a little bit forward and what i need to do is cut out okay there's no more out so let's go fine i still need to go right into this piano roll and make some midi changes so what i need to do here is um to add high hat rolls so let's go so i need to add one here sorry <laughs> so i need to change my snap degree down to maybe half step zoom in a little bit so let me see no 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 Okay, I'm okay with that. Just a little bit minimalistic. I'm gonna do it again. So I'm, I'm gonna do another one down here. Let's see. This is a little bit we confusing. So let me start from the beginning. So this is where I want this guy to be. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. For the second beat, this is what I'm gonna do. Change this to full beat and third beat. Copy this. Paste them. No, sorry. Let's see. Paste them in the middle. Copy the same information piece them in the middle again so we have this So um, what you really need to do for most of your hi-hat rolls is to actually take them down and uh, take them down a note, all right? Say, for example, uh, all of my, um, 
my midi, uh, sorry, my um, how I call this, my hi hat rolls were on C5. All right, what I actually did down here was I, ju I just took uh, my um, these midi informations down here from from C5. I dropped them down to um, you call this, you call this a B flat. All right, so let's get going. So basically, I think most of all we need here is done. So. so far and wait, I'm good to go. So next up, what I need to do to mango my 808 just to match the temp sorry just to match uh, the key i'm using so what i actually learned from busy rock speaks was that once you get to your 808 you need to go open the range tool get down to your wave file click edit and once you go to edit edison is going to show you this what you need to do is go to this little button down here, the flag button. Scroll down to the um, scroll down to uh, detect pitch regions. Detect pitch regions. So what I have here is a a okay a yeah. Uh, so this beat was played by a. So what I need to do here is just go down to my a and click that. So everything is in sync right now. Next up thing I need to do with this guy is to go down to my envelope slash, slash instrument settings, take down, take up the hole, cut out the attack, uh, take out the, 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 what the fuck is this, the decay time, so F word, take out the sustain and take out the release. Secondly, what I need to do for my um, 808 is to turn up the parameter, the monophonic um, tool, so it's gonna slide, right? That's cool. Now, what I need to do next for my 808 is to copy the MIDI information on my kick and paste it down on my 808. So I'm going to go down into the piano roll of the 808 and mango, take out things, what I want. And I'm going to create a quick legato. Let me see if I'm correct. Quick legato. Yeah, correct. So I'm gonna shift this guy here to D. Sounding way a little bit old. I don't understand this. Let me see what. The hell? Oh, I'm so good with spaces with this guy. Now, this is where I'm going to make iterate changes. I'm going to make, I'm going to go by octaves. So, this guy is going to go boom, boom. All right, so let's get listening. So I'm going to take this guy under the octave. Sorry, I'm going to make a slide down here. You know, I like slides, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go down to my snap to grid and take the bar options. And I'm going to hold down my shift button, click, and drag this guy. And then next up, what I need to do is to hold my control key and press the up button just to take it one octave up or higher. 
I'm gonna double click on D5 media information and slide this guy down so this guy gonna be like Whoa. then I'm gonna double click on this guy and take part of mental for this guy so let's go listen so it, it actually took it up high you know So um, uh, what I want to do here is boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? That's actually what I want. So I'm going to change to full beat. I'm going to take this guy down a little bit. Okay. Sorry. And include something else. Take this guy up. See? Yeah. I'm getting it. So I'm actually getting what I want. See this? This one I brought it down, down an octave. extend this guy a little bit or maybe make an 808 slide down here okay yes I'm gonna make an 808 slide down here so first up what I need to do is control click that now hold your shift button down and drag that a little bit then take it back to snap just like it was and what you need to do next is just to hold your control button down on the PC and do your up cursor button what you do next is double click on the up one choose the um, port to main toe yeah this is going to slide it down down the octave and the slide so it's going to be like this you understand what i mean so let's go let's get a listen all our samples except the brass This is lit. What do we need to do? What we need to do down here right now is just to create pads. I'm gonna create pads right now. But what I need to do is to color my um samples. Go to go to go to these um channel options after most of all the samples you want have been highlighted. You go down here. You go to color selected we'll go to random or gradient gradient choose gradient so what I need to do I need all my samples my drums my kick and everything to be red so they're red so now what I need to do for my chords my instruments my VSTs I want them blue so I'm going to still go to my channel options. I'll go to color selected. I'm go to gradient and I'm still going to choose blue. Okay, I like this blue. Still choose that blue. Fine. So next up thing I need to do is to highlight all my patterns and I'm going to go to my mixer. Well, another option to get you down to the mixer is to double click on the target mixer track. So if I double click here, straight up, I'm in the mixer. So I'm going to take myself out so another way you could do that is just to view your mix it down on this environment let's go so next up I want to replicate all of my percussions my kick my drum my VS is over my mix so I need to right click and I'll go to channel routing so I'll see sa route select the channel started from this track so I'm going to click that but if I say route selected channels to this track, all of my percussions and my VSTs are going to be routed just into in set one. So why? Wow, I don't want to do that. I want to do this because it's going to spread out. Check it out. All spread out. That's better for me. So um, what I actually do on my beat is I create buses. So I want to create the instrument bus. 
this bus is going to control the kick and the rest so i'm going to color this guy red now create the band bus that's going to control the vsts and sound and shit <laughs> sorry so let's go okay so first up what i need to do is to highlight all of my precautions my kick my everything now come to uh, i'll get down to my enable send from this first kick here down to the last booming head i'm going to select this and i'll say route to this track only because i want this guy to control this guy so if i press play and i mute this guy you're not going to hear any any mini information now what you were actually hearing were informations from this from my um, my piano and my breath okay so if i if i route these guys down here to route to this track only you ain't gonna hear nothing if i take this guy out all right so all the things you'll be hearing would actually come from my drums and my kick so let's go you hear nothing nada so next let's try that for the uh band so i also need another channel i also need another bus my bypass bus shout outs to uh cmp craft masters productions i got this one from him all right shout out to you bro so i'm uh, rename this and i'm gonna color this green i like this so fine so this uh the instrument bus and the band bus are gonna be routed only to this track S route to this track only better for me so this guy is routed down here and the instrument bus is also routed down here so if i off this guy if i solo if I, if I take out this guy he ain't gonna hear nothing nada so if i'm gonna turn this guy on everything is up I'm going. now this is very very easy to do in apple studio better than any daw so fine by me i think i need to add what i call effects let me run some effect on these guys so yeah this is guy the brass was actually struggling frequencies with the 808 bass so i'm gonna take this guy i'm gonna do a high pass so there's an effect i want to add on this guy my pianos i'm gonna add what i call output movement so go to movement this is a huge plugin i just downloaded it shout out to Curtis king beats hell this is late bro i'm gonna detach this let's get going it's already working let me see something like this Do you want that? Let me see. Simple fucks. No, on. I like click and pose. Yeah. Let me try something else. No, 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 no. No, so pumper, let's try this one. Yeah, you got me going. I like this. So, next up, what I need to do, I'm going. So, this is uh, basically most of the problems most of our uh, producers get because um, your PC is uh, much good. Uh, your the processor speed is a little bit down and your RAM size is a little bit 
low so what you need to do once you load up your uh, your most of your effect third party effects and plugins and stuff what you need to do is to go to edison and try to record the effect of what you were trying to play so it's reading down here so what we need to do is go on play once we get on play we record this baby and we play this yo So we we'll stop that and we we'll stop this guy. So what next we need to do is double click on this guy and we are up and running. So I'm 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 gonna take out my mixer and I'm gonna grab this guy and drop him down here. So I'm gonna go in and mangle this guy, pull up, take out, take out, take out, or take out. Yo, so what we need to do here. What I actually wanted to do was to pick um pick a different sound, so for example bells. Try to sign bells for the main channel. Let me see what I'm gonna get. Let me see what I'm gonna get. So if I play this guy, I think I should have something close to this. like this I like this this has a little bit of pad there's a pad sound behind it and um, I think I'm okay with this one I like that I'm gonna go with that one so next up thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this guy in Edison I'll take these guys out and I'll record this guy using Edison so let's get going I think we're okay with that one. I'll stop this guy. I'll stop this guy too. Next stuff thing I need to do is to copy and drag. Click and drag. So, so I just double clicked on the song job. So it's gonna highlight all of the pad I want. This is for just for one bar. And I'm gonna click and drag this guy down to my my parents. So I'm gonna go inside it and I delete everything. But for this guy, I think I'm still I'm I'm gonna take out this guy just for lagging issues my pc might lag so I, i'm gonna do the same thing i did down here with this sample go in wrench tool take out your attack increase your hold take out the decrease the sustain on the release everything out so i'm gonna place just one note on the midi information pack it's supposed to be here so i'm gonna take this guy out Delete. Go, in t go inside the piano roll and cause the legato, very full bar legato. Same thing, but I'm gonna copy and paste. There you go. So if I play this guy, so I'm gonna take this guy. If I play, even if I stop, it's gonna, even if I stop play playing it, it's, it's gonna stop too. But if I so for example, I left these guys and uh, they attack everything. I left them the way they were. Uh, it would have played and not stop, alright? You understand me? Wish I showed you. So, I think I'm okay with these two sounds. Let me see what I got. This is dope, you know what I mean? there and try to normalize everything I'm trying to normalize these guys okay good it's way loud so let me take him down a little bit I'm 
happy with these guys you know this beat is one of my best beats yeah shout out to Curtis the king you know most of all my inspiration i get is from busy works beats and Curtis king beats i think this too niggas they worth it so for the second part i'm going to name this guy bells plus effect bells i spelled bells right bells plus effects yeah good so i think i still need to rename sorry call all these brothers mario brothers <laughs> okay Fine by me, let me see something. Should I take this guy out? Maybe I should copy the court and delete. Take the brass. I'ma take that and Draw replicate it down to number four. So So for number 11, that was uh, number 11 was Bells and Effect. I'm going to copy the name I'm and I'm going to go down to the mixer. I say Bells plus Effect, Piano Chords. What I did here was Piano plus Effect plus Effect. So y'all niggas really want to go down, go online and try to download this movement. Output movement is a very, very cool plugin. Basically, you can tweak uh, your media information, and uh, for the most part, you go here you and get a good sound. Yeah, let we go. This is the basic interface. For mine, I detached it. But if you want a video about this, you could go to Codex Skin Beats. All right, get it me so um, I think the next thing I need to do is just to layer all of the beat and everything is up and will be running so let me just see something so I have my kick I have my snap my snare sorry and I have my my other snare that's my 808 and I have my vocal what and I have my uh, same bow. So I'm taking it down a little bit. So I have my crash, my reverse crash, and my crash. And I have my hi hats. What did I do to the hi hat? I'm going to take this hi hat a little bit back. Um, for the piano and effect, let's see how it's going to sound with the samples. Let's go. Hey. I told you try beats that is the most simplest beats to make in the world. Let's see the bells and the effects. So let's see my breath. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I'm feeling this beat already. So what I need to do right now is just to create my patterns and I'll be, do I'll be up and down. So I will go highlight everything. And I'm going to split all everything down back to patterns. Let's get going. Split by channels. So. I got everything split it down back to patterns. I'm gonna click my enter that will take me to my playlist and I'm gonna click the button up which is the um, uh, how am I gonna call this my kick sir and I'm gonna hold my sheep down including my control button down and I'm gonna click all I can click and drag down here now I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it to the first track 
and everything will layer automatically down here. I think I have everything here. So, chords. I don't need chords. So what I need to do? Yeah, I got everything set. So now what I need to do is to pack in my beats. Okay, so um, first of all, I need to do is just to grab the bar mode and I'll click and drag and double click everything. That means I'm highlighting, selecting everything. I'm going to click to hold my shift button down to duplicate. All right. Excuse me. Let's go by the kick. So what I want to do is going to be more like an introduction of the song. And from there, I'm going to place the verse and the chorus. Intro, I'm okay. Yeah. The intro, I think, should not have an 808. Should have a softer snare. Should then have the vocals. I think it should have this cymbal ride. Legs crash. Reverse crash that I'm go that's gonna take me to the verse. But the uh, first part, I think I should let the bells ride and take out the brass. Let's go, let's have a listen, see how this thing goes. <laughs> liking this baby so mm, I'm still gonna take the kick out still gonna be the introduction uh, the introduction of the song so take the kick out and, and uh, I'm like this uh, these other hats there I'm gonna take it out too um, I'm gonna take the hi hat out I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm let the piano be so it's gonna be like this <laughs> Then it's gonna go to the verse one, okay? So let me rename this. I'm gonna get rename this, rename verse one. Beautiful. So let's get up. Let's get up. Let's get up. So the kick is gonna be here, and the snare too is gonna be here. And my 808s, I think they should be there. And the wood, no, I'm gonna take it out. out. And the reverse crash, I think that should be there. The piano and the bells. Let's go. Try beats are simple. Top. Chorus is gonna be more like so. One more do, I'm going out a hook that's gonna take me down to the chorus. So I copy the introduction of part of the song and I pasted it where I'm gonna create and make this part the hook. So basically, what I was doing is just control T and it's gonna bring it auto out. This is where you section your songs, structuring your songs. So I'm gonna rename this guy, but I'm gonna call this guy, it should be the hook. So the hook is gonna be like this. So the hook is gonna have an 808. So I'm gonna take this thing out, right? And uh, maybe include it. Uh, oh, this. Take this. Yeah. Oh, just take this guy. I'm 
to take this kick out. Now that's better for me. What I actually need to do just to get back the chorus is just to copy the various and take you back to the next pattern sorry to the next uh, bar after the hook and I'm gonna say control T again and I'm gonna rename this guy and call him first chorus basically what I'm gonna do here is just let most of the hi-hats and everything just be <laughs> I told y'all, trap beats are the most simple beats to create. So, from here, I think I should add a life line down to my hook. So, it's gonna be more like a filter. Now, shout out to Busy Wax again. You know, he taught me this. So, I'm gonna go to my bypass track and throw in Freddy Parametric EQ. So, um, from here, I think I need to go to the preset. Go to preset and I'm gonna select 30 hits plus 18 hits card. So I'm gonna automate the band seven width. This is the guy here. Control. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say create automation clip. And I'm also going to going to uh, automate the band frequency band seven. Um, create automation clip. So I'm gonna go down to my playlist. Where are these automation clips? So there they are. These guys, the, the, uh, the first automation clip here was for the band frequencies. So I'm gonna click here and see how it's gonna be. Well, for the most part, I'm gonna show you how the parametric EQ is gonna behave. So let me play this. <laughs> So y'all seen that, but it's way just too much. So I'm going to cut out a little bit close to like 45%. Then I'm going to let go close to maybe a lot around this range. It's going to go back. Yeah, better. I like that. So for the band width, what I'm gonna do is try to tweak this guy a little bit down here to so either go up or down. All right, so that baby, that's what I want. So let me see this. So it's gonna get down. That's for everything. So next up, what I need to do is just to uh, create an ending for the beat uh, layer, the second verse and the second chorus down at this bottom, including the ending. Maybe a fader from uh, the master track. Then I'll master the beat and I'll uh, sell the beat, uh, give it out as a free beat. You know what I mean? So. And enjoy yourself, y'all niggas. Please subscribe. Leave a like.
thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video please make sure you subscribe and drop a like a comment all right i'm gonna see you in the next beat session it'll be mango